Hey legends, welcome back to another episode. This one's an absolute corker. You guess right, I'm on the beach. I'm doing something that I don't do very often, and that's beach fishing. But I'm not doing it by myself. Come to that in a minute. We have a look at this backdrop. I'm down at the famous Southwest Rocks, and I'm on one of the local beaches here. And I'm actually on a fishing charter with Mid North Coastal Fishing Tools. It's run by this bloke here, Mitch Marrick. Local fishing legend, beach fishing extraordinaire, expert, Mitch. Welcome to the channel, mate. No worries. Thanks, thanks, for, for, thanks for having me, mate. Mate, more importantly, thanks for having me. I'm just <laughs> showing Mitch that I'm a bit of a gummy when it comes to beach fishing, but we've already got a couple of fish in the uh, in the bucket. We're going to we'll chase Taylor already, and then maybe later on. Yeah, we'll see if we can uh, go after something a bit bigger. Yep. Um, I won't give too much away, but. Yeah, we might say that. That's going to be special, that one. Yeah, that's it. It's certainly going to be a first for me. I've never done it before. Not many people do it in Australia, so if we can pull it off, it's going to make a mental episode. Uh, give it a good shot. Really looking forward to that part. But at the moment, like I said, we're chasing Taylor. We've got absolutely perfect conditions here. We've got three to four feet of swell. Uh, sort of light offshore wind. And sun's just about to crack the horizon there. I'll put Mitch's details in the uh, description below. Links to the tours and what have you. But as you can see, he's got it all set up for you. It's not, it's not your typical beach fishing. It's beach fishing in style of comfort. Comes down here on the beach, brings his four-wheel drive. Got everything you need. Got all the gear for you. Uh, multiple rods up on the roof of the car there. Because on this particular beach, on this particular part of the coast, really anything can swim past, can't What yeah, are we talking? that's it, mate. We're Sharks, jewies. Taylor. We've really timed it perfectly. I mean, your options are almost unlimited this time of year, so. Yeah. Definitely. What else, though? Sharks, Dewey's, Taylor. Which is famous for catching big snapper on the beach. We'll get into that a bit later on. Uh, long tucked in it. I wasn't going to mention that, was I? <laughs> we are. That's our, part of our surprise later on. Uh, what else? Really anything, isn't it? Yeah, that's it, mate. We'll just. Um... Bike catch, shovel no sharks, brim, whatever. So if you come on one of Mitch's tours, it really is a uh, bit of a jackpot, a lucky difference to what you might catch on any given day. Yeah, but certainly they operate all year round, don't they? Yeah, yeah, we're, we're pretty lucky here, mate. We've got good currents year round. The fishing options are, you know, 12 months of the year, there's always something to catch, so. Pretty limitless, aren't they? Yeah, and I mean, good mornings like this, you know, where else would you rather be, so. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, take this in. But I know you mentioned earlier when we were driving down here that the snapper will be moving in soon. Because that's something yeah. that I find really intriguing. I know a lot of people have talked to me about yep. it, because. Uh, if you look at Mitch's Instagram for the for the business, which I'll also put in the comment section below, you'll see he gets some really monster snapper off the beach, which I always thought was just not possible. <laughs> but it certainly is. Uh, but they'll be on soon. Yeah, right, counting the days down, mate. So right -o. I think it was, oh, we're about three or four days off from a really good session we had last year, so well, we caught multiple fish over 80 centimetres. So. Story of my life, three or four days too early. But anyway, <laughs> we're having fun on the tailor. We've already got a couple, like I said. So we're going to get into it, get stuck in a few more. We're catching some for food and some for bait. Uh, but we were here like literally 10 minutes and we had fish on the beach. Right, uh, let's get stuck into it. Because you're fishing quite a fair way back here, I know. Like you're not standing in the shoreline. No, nah, well the water will come up to you know, five metres from where we are now, so. But you mentioned earlier though, Taylor in particular, they're going to be in quite close. They're not. Yeah. Right yeah. up, right out, yeah. Because we've got such a small swell running at the moment, they'll yeah. move close to shore. Yeah, they small, basically yeah. need that wire wash to feed, so yeah. when the swell is really big, you've got to cast a fair way out. Um, but yeah, when it's quite calm like this, the fish will move right to your feed, basically. And so this is, in your experience, this is looking pretty good this morning? Yeah, mate. It's it early looks, yeah, spot on. Um, good time with the moon phase, but not far off the full moon oh, now. Yeah, so, coming out the full. Uh, we've got a full tide pretty much right now, so and sunrise, so. So mid North Coast or fishing tours guarantees fish? Oh. <laughs> I've got him on camera. <laughs> we'll see. Right. Ask me again in about 10 minutes. Yeah, right. <laughs> we'll try our best anyway. And salted strip baits, mate. Yeah, so yeah. pretty much all our baits source locally, whether I catch it myself or use local fishermen. Yeah. Um, these are local Bonito. So we actually brine and salt these down for two or three days. Yep. So. Bonito is a great bait, but as you probably know, once it's frozen and thawed, it's pretty soft. Yeah, right. Whereas geez. this is, you know, chuck that on a jig it and use it for a snapper and yeah. it'll work fine. Heaps, so, heaps tougher, yeah. Definitely. They're, pretty, they're Watsons, are they? These are Watsons, yeah. Yeah, right. yeah they're, they're, there's still plenty around at the moment. Yeah. Rig's pretty simple. Taylor got sharp teeth, so we need gang hooks just so we don't get bitten off. Yeah. 
Um, basically you start with your end hook, punch yep. it straight through. Middle one. And the last one. Now it's probably not required, but I quite like to just tie it up with a bit of elastic thread. Yep. You won't see too many people doing this, but it makes such a big difference. Does it? In terms of? Um, for, I mean, it keeps the bait on. Yep. It also sort of keeps it streamlined and from falling apart, so you can cast further with it. Okay. And if you do get a couple of tailor come through and whack it and miss the hooks, yep. um, generally you've got still a pretty presentable bait there for them to come back a second or third time. And have you made these rigs yourself? Yeah, yeah, so all the rigs I make up. What size you, you got on there? Um, so they're a 4.0 right. uh, open eye O'Shaughnessy, which we gang into a three set of gangs. Yeah, I know you use the swivels there for your gangs, you're not doing yeah, yep. bend or high, right? Gives the hooks a lot more freedom, so yep. uh, less likely to pull out of the fish, especially with Taylor, they jump around and carry on. Yep. Um, and that now... Uh, that's beautiful boat. Yeah, yep. nice and streamlined, but yep. yeah. Yep. We'll get him out there and hopefully it won't be long and it gets eaten. Awesome. You don't have to use the rod holder, it's up to you, but yep. you probably won't see on camera the rod tip because it's black, but check out this morning below out there. Yeah, that's beautiful, isn't it? We won't come up on the GoPro yet, there's another half hour on it. But... Oh, I reckon that'll be 10 minutes and we'll do something happen. Yeah, with these sinkers, they sort of just anchor in, so you can just pull back on that sinker, yep. keep it tight. Give it attention, yeah. Yep. The tailor will generally just pick the whole bait up and swim with it, so you'll feel and lift the sinker. So what we can do is we'll chuck him in here. So we're right now at the beginning of June, so very early winter, and this is prime tailor time. Yeah, Did mate, definitely. So North Coast, yeah. first day of winter. Um, yep. Mornings have been pretty cool. Wave. Yeah, we've been catching tailor since February. Like they're, yeah. they're pretty much a year-round species. Yeah. Um, but you definitely notice that main run of fish starts sort of May June. Yeah, yeah. You, some of your biggest tailor you'll actually catch when the water's quite warm, so through the autumn months. But yeah, it's strange that, hey. Yeah, definitely. Can't so I always associate them with really cold water, but not necessarily. Yeah, exactly. So. You're gonna love them, don't you? Yeah, when they're on. Oh yeah. You can see why the old battles up the front are on high up every year from those. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, they're they're just such such reliable, consistent fish, aren't they? Yeah. Am I hogging the rod here? I'm stealing the rod off you, aren't I? You're turning it. <laughs> so guys, we just put this bait out again. Probably out for <laughs> for the big ones, the real ones. Hey, that must have been in the water. Five minutes again then. If you're hooking them up there, are you walking down to wind them in like this or you just find them right there normally? Yeah, definitely mate. It's good to get close to the water. Get the water's edge, yeah. Um, get that line down the hole, so it's best Yeah. They generally do Yeah, you really want to stay tight, eh? Yeah. yeah. Mate, it's pretty good tailor fishing in my book. Three fish already. There he is. That's a slightly, slightly better fish. I'll try not to jump in front of you with the camera, actually, I just realised. Yeah, you're right. 
He's a better fish. Better fish. Definitely. He's getting up there. Very nice. Awesome. Drive in. Yep. Got him. Thanks, mate. He's alright. Nice fish, mate. There you go. That's what you can expect on these tours. Is perfect size tailor with a backdrop like that. How good is that? Good fish. Yeah, he's a much better fish. Alright guys, now that we've got the uh, bit more stud up, I'm gonna just try a spin one. A bit more of a hold here. We've got this Shimano Oshia Jigger on, 60 gram stick bait in the chrome. This is a great looking hole here. Hopefully it comes out. We've got a sort of inside bank here, a deeper hole here, which runs up the beach a fair way. So and we know there's Taylor here. So we should be able to hopefully grab a fish or two. Taylor jumping there. Which is on already, look, there we go. <laughs> so it's a great way to fish. I mean, I'm spinning now, which is much more work, but Mitchell just leaves the rods in the rod holders. Just waits for one to go off. Come in the air, mate. <laughs> Come in there. It's always away, isn't it? <laughs> I was just thinking, here I am doing all this hard work stick baiting and you just stand there with a coffee and getting the fish. That's it. Good fish? Yeah, he feels like a good fish, mate. Yep. Oh, just foul look. Foul that's look, that's all right. Yeah. See if we get him in the water, we take baiting. Oh, I'm gonna keep spinning. Yeah, <laughs> that is good. <laughs> Righto. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Didn't take long at all. Definitely the fish are here. Oh. And that's the beauty of tailor fishing guys when they're on. Baits, lures, whatever you want to throw at them. They're in the mood, they'll eat it. And it's bloody good fun. I flogged your spot, mate. <laughs> there we go. Taylor on a stick, mate. Let him go. You need another one? <laughs> there you go, Darren. You're not just a good salesman, mate. Didn't flog me a dud, dud lure after all, Dags. Thank you very much for that. <laughs> I got that from Darren Ryan at Mojack. You've seen him on their channel before. Usually catch a long tail from my spot. <laughs> Ah, oh, look at that. <laughs> Is that for a sunrise?
Yep, straight again. Again. Two casts later, and we're on again. Woohoo! <laughs> Who says you need to go for, to bloody Fraser Island to get tailor fishing like this? <laughs> ah, that's good stuff. Oh, pull look out of that one. Like it. We'll just pull the hooks out of that one. <laughs> Plenty of fish there. Oh. Yep, on again. <laughs> Woo! It's like Taylor a cast. <laughs> That's it guys, that's tailor fishing. And it's fine, it's always a fisher cast. Do you want any more mate or? Um, he's not a bad one for the live you take mate. It's almost like a fisher cast out there. Oh it's great isn't it? <laughs> it's gold. <laughs> Move on. I was gonna say, you must be one of the busiest charter operators I've seen. You got my old ADHD or something like that, and I almost feel bad. I should be helping, but it's too much fun. <laughs> I, like, I like staying busy, mate. I hate sitting around when you're done. I'm having too much fun, mate. That, that gutter down there is actually chock full of mullet. Oh, yeah, yesterday. Chock full of mullet. Yesterday, the water was brown with mullet. Yeah. It's a late season, isn't it? Yeah, they're jumping out everywhere. I thought they were salmon at first, but they're all mullet. Yeah, it's definitely been a late mullet, mate. Well, that's the first of me stick baiting in the surf. I had a bull. Yeah, 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 good fun. Awesome. Have you got room for one more out there? Yes. I'll yeah, just definitely. stick that up whilst I save me undoing it all. job that you wouldn't struggle getting out of bed to do even in the depths of winter it's got to be this one <laughs> uh, that's right. we'll just go up and do a bit of a turn and come and set up here beautiful yeah, so you're right that does just form into one big gutter it there it hey? does yeah so i call it the highway pretty much starts here and goes all the way down to Haddon. it's actually bust up out of the back there yep and behind this there always seems to be a rip and usually mac tuna and and stuff feeding, so seems to be the, the spot to fish. Hold on, <laughs> <laughs> but if they clients when they come with you, they also get the uh, added four drive adventure, too, mate. Yeah, that's it, mate, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> I'm impressed you didn't get bogged in, mate. I would have. <laughs> Done it a few times now. Yeah, it looks like it. <laughs> you learn the hard way. <laughs> yeah. That's got to be a good look when you're with clients. They're sorry we're bogged at the moment. <laughs> now the worst one, mate's when I when I'm fishing and someone slows down to see what I'm doing and oh, they, they get bogged, they right get bogged in front of <laughs> Yep. And you're good bloke, so I guess you feel obligated to help them, then, yeah. Oh yeah. Mate, that looks perfect out there. All right, so I'm just going to do my thing. You do your Give thing. Five or ten minutes. Yeah, you're right. I'll do my thing. Right, guys. Okay, so what we've done now, we've changed locations. The tailor kind of went a little bit quiet. Um, we just put a big live bait, live tailor out there for a while. Got way, way out the back. Oh, whales going nuts out there. Uh, 
So that just does show you that we're at the start of winter now. The first of the whales are coming through. So we had a big live tailor out, way out behind the back of the surf there. No luck on that one, but the gutters are absolutely full, chock full of mullet. So we've come a little bit further south along the beach. Got a different sort of gutter formation here. As Mitch was saying, it's kind of two gutters are now formed into one. Bit of a fish super highway here. And I won't let on what we're actually gonna do, but we're gonna start fishing in a minute. And this is certainly a first for me. And you probably don't see this very often, particularly in Australia. But I won't spoil the surprise. But that is looking great. It's quite a long leader. Yep. Just um, fluorocarbon. Yep. What size? Uh, 60 pound fluorocarbon. And and like that's a 8, 8 circle. Yep. Yeah. People say that's too big for tuna, but for these bigger fish, it's just absolutely perfect. Yeah. You know, if we get a couple and you see where the hook ends up, you'll see it's the perfect size for them. Let's check out the water in here. Don't need much, just enough to keep them alive for a minute. So. Sometimes I bridle them if I'm putting them in heavy surf. Yeah. Um, but I prefer to have them rigged up backwards, just as you would off the rocks, mate. Yeah. As you know, it makes the live kick a bit harder. Yep. Yeah. I'll just try and put it in fairly deep. That's it. All right. I'll just click straight on the rig. Got it. Love the size. Isn't it? <laughs> Past that last bank, yeah. Yeah, right on the back of it. Now I just let it fly home and do its thing. And when the fish hit, are they taking line, or you like you, you giving them a bit, then hitting them, or just uh, you're not um, really hitting them because of the circle hook? Yeah, don't have to do anything. They should be hooked from the get go. Yeah. Um, but the bites can be very subtle, but they can also be very violent. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> you sort of just got to keep a real good eye on the rod tip. Yeah. With any sort of drone fishing, um, slack line's your enemy. So we always have plenty of load on the sinker. Yeah. And that's what helps set the hook too. Yeah, right. grab a band. As soon as they grab it, that line springs back and... Well, I'm always saying this to people with long tails and tuna off the rocks and stuff, is that people let them run for ages, but really by the time you register that fish has hit on your balloon, yeah. they've got... Yeah, remember when you the out there? Yeah. There's a fair old delay before you know what's going on. Yeah, yeah. Right guys, so we're all set up now. Uh, Mitch has deployed three baits, we're going to put three out. We'll leave it at that for now. Um, so we've got all the rods lined up here. All got live mullet on them. And I have to say, even though I've fished, I've tried to fish almost every day for my life. <laughs> the anticipation with this is absolutely through the roof. I just want to see one of these go off. We're trying not to let on this. The surprise of what we're actually fishing for and what we're actually doing because we want to show you the process um, but it would be amazing to see these things go off so we've got three rods out baits have been deployed hundreds of meters out behind the surf all live mullet on conditions are looking perfect we've got heaps of bait in the in the gutters uh, so now it's just the waiting game just want one of these puppies to scream have to wait too long mate. I have to say, I did actually believe you that this would work. <laughs> when we first got down here I thought this is just a con job and guys we are on. <laughs> it it's... could be a shark but yeah. um, you know if he stays on for a couple of minutes then it's probably not. Oh that's off like a bright night isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so basically you're just leaving it there? Um, making sure that fish is hooked. I mean we can probably grab it out now and start fighting him so. Do you want to? You want to jump on mate? No mate I, I, you get the first one because right. you're the expert. Yeah, I just want to see a fish mate. 
we'll keep an eye on these other rods because if it is a school of tuna they'll probably move down and find one of those too but so this is it guys, this is mid north coastal fishing tour in action. This is a surprise we had for you all. We are fishing off the beach, not just for your standard tail of brim biting flathead, we're actually going for big serious game fish here. We've been deploying live baits. That's what it's all about mate. And I, I, as I just mentioned, I didn't actually think it could happen, but we are on. <laughs> How is that? <laughs> Thoughts mate? Thoughts? Um, yeah, tuna-ish. Tuna-ish? Yep, there's tail beats. Oh, that's so, it's looking positive. We still got a long way to go, about 300 meters to be exact. So yeah, well, that's one of the things with this style of fishing. It's a long wind back in, isn't it, mate? Yeah, mate. I think the suspense has got to be the biggest draw card too. You know, most forms of fishing, you can see the fish, or you know, within a few minutes, have a good idea of what you've got. But yeah, you know, it might be 15 minutes before we see what we've got here. There's a Chinese tourist bus coming. <laughs> I'm joking, mate. Cut you off. <laughs> Oh, how good is that? Yeah, it's looking positive, mate. Sorry, mate, I'm going to annoy you with this camera. Just no, me. oh, please do. Get as much as you can. It's a tuna. Oh, it's this. <laughs> so I'm allowed to divulge now what we're actually chasing here? Yeah. Right, guys, so this is, this is our big reveal. We're chasing long tails off the beach. And anybody watching my channel knows that the long tail is a fish dear to my heart. I absolutely love them. Uh, me too, mate. They tick every box. Mitch is the same as me. I mean, kind of when you grow up where we've grown up, they are like the premier game fish off the rocks and what have you. I've never ever chased one off the beach. I didn't think it was possible. Mitch yep. oh, oh, double run. up. <laughs> one, one, one. You'll still be on there, mate. Drag up. Yep, we are on. <laughs> You're kidding me. This is ridiculous. You can leave it if you want to get your 10% up, just leave it. I'm sorry. He's, he's not going anywhere. I've got that one on. Even if you want to chuck that on the um, clamp of the tape or something, on the corner there, so we don't have to worry yet. <laughs> What's that? Watch those other baits. If it's cool, we'll find out. All right. How good is this? <laughs> <laughs> this is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. We are on the beach. <laughs> we shouldn't be chasing Taylor. <laughs> and we've got probably got two long tails on. <laughs> You know? If you stay where you are, you'll break that pattern and tell them what's bigger. Right, eh? Um, so let them mark, and then when you can get them to turn the other way, you'll try and gain the final. Have you got a uh, free spot for a booking tomorrow? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, this is ridiculous. I can't get over it. I know I, can't, I should shut up, hey? But. Guys, we are fighting long tails off the beach, double hook up. All happening. And this is actually what we targeted. <laughs> so it really is a long wind back because we've deployed those. But. Yep. Righto. Um, that one there, I'm just going to do a little snap stop so I can carry it to the corner later. Righto. Do you feel like he's going left or right, mate? Mate, I think he's actually just going slowly to the right. I'll stay below you. I'll see if I can try and get some more line. 
Mine's coming in pretty easy. Oh, that one's just waking up, isn't it? <laughs> so guys, you may never thought of doing beach charters before, but I encourage you, after this experience, give Mitch a bell, send him a message, come and join one of his charters, because I haven't had this much fun fishing for a long, long time. I didn't think you could do it. <laughs> Have I mentioned to you, this is <laughs> Couple times. Far out. I'm thinking it, don't worry. We were just saying, I was actually just that questioning Mitch and saying, what do you think our chances are? And he was saying pretty good. <laughs> but I wasn't thinking double hook up in the first 10 minutes. Good. This lady's driving along here, Mitch. Alright, you want to just walk down to the water? We'll let it go like this. <laughs> <laughs> Fishing and you're worried about getting cut off by cars. Is that one still out? Oh yeah. <laughs> <Woo -hoo! laughs> oh look at that! <laughs> Ooh, look at that fish! <laughs> How good is that? <laughs> there you go, Mitch has got his fish in. <laughs> you legend! <laughs> Yeah, I'll just try and pull mine back a bit this way. How yeah, good. Proof is in the pudding. <laughs> um, he's a good fish too, mate. Nice fish, mate. Nice fish. <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> mate, that is unbelievable. Sorry, I'm getting dragged away here. <laughs> I think I'm under that one now, aren't I? Yeah. Look at that. This is unbelievable. We just put that on the beach and I've still got one on here, look at that. That is crazy. This is insane fishing, absolutely insane fishing. <laughs> got my mono on, got the mono chop shot on there. <laughs> There's my fish in the wave out there. He's only just in those breaker line there at first breakers. Mate, I can't believe this. <laughs> it is ridiculous. In the surf. <laughs> Big long tails. All right, we almost got this one. <laughs> Cracking fish. <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, you know, you, you right that circle look right in there. Dragon boat up to the target, this third one <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot we've actually got a third one on. <laughs> yeah, mate, I'll take mine. It's all right. Uh, watch that line, Rob. Oh. Here you go. Go around this side. Yeah. Just chuck him up in the shade behind the table. You're right with him. Yep. No worries. I'll bring mine up and clear this beach. Uh, I don't think the other fish is as big. It might just be a Mac tuna or something. Mate, they are good fish, though. Yeah, really good fish. And there you go, guys. 
that is the result of a day out with Mitch with his mid North Coastal fishing tours. I mean, I would have been happy just with the Taylor session we had this morning, <laughs> but I was not expecting this. Had to go one better, mate. Oh, mate, you certainly did. Yeah, that, es did. <laughs> that escalated very quickly. Yeah. <laughs> I'm having a quiet cup of coffee to double hook up on big long tails in the surf. Never done it before, first time for me. Absolutely stoked, mate, I can't get over that. No worries, absolute pleasure. Poor missus has got to drive all the way home with me in the car and I'm going to be talking about this the whole way back. She'll be so like <laughs> Yeah, fell on my tuna. Uh, mate, oh, that's great. Thank you very much. No worries, mate. Like I said, the details are down below. Get in touch with Mitch. If you want to experience this type of fish that's right on our doorstep, I would never have thought it possible. Can't get over it. Awesome. We get one more. <laughs> <laughs> We're on again, guys. Here, <laughs> yep. We're on. <laughs> Mate, you don't want this one, do you? Again, we had a bit of a wait there, probably about oh no, 30 40 minutes. We just deployed one more live bait, and we're going to pull these in actually and check them. Mitch has just had it gone off. Awesome. What a day, mate! <laughs> Unreal. Well clear of the other ones, so... Right, that's alright. Yeah. So you might put it down to luck, getting one fish off the beach, but when you hook your third one for the morning, <laughs> this is sensational fishing. Here in a sec, mate. That'd be good. Yep, I reckon we're going up. Something's going on. Might have spat it. Definitely had a hit. Definitely another longie. So guys, this is incredible. Right? And I've been banging on a bit about it, but this is amazing fishing. Big long tailed tuna off the beach. Third one for the morning. Oh, incredible. Definitely a long tail. They really pull you down the beach, don't they? Oh, yeah. <laughs> they take off. I reckon we nearly had a double there again, mate. <laughs> I'll do a few, a full walk around. You really nailed that uh, hit. I didn't even see that, hey? You're right, they can be a bit subtle, yeah? Yeah, you don't always see the drag go. Taking you for a walk, mate. Yeah, they really use those waves, eh? Yeah. What they'll do is they'll turn back on themselves. Yeah. And then that's usually when you get them yeah. washed up. Oh, 
All right. I'm Classic long tail, fight. He's just arcing. He's only there, right? This. Yeah, mate. It's all locked up. It's all on, is it? in the shallows, he's close now. He's real close. He's got to watch that water sucking back home. Uh, long tail. Just got that top shot on. They really play up in those waves, eh? <laughs> That one. Almost. He, he's stubborn, this one. Mate, he's a stubborn fish. Yeah, I think, I know he's definitely hurting me. <laughs> he's stubborn, man. Stubborn. I don't know if you're hurting him or if he's hurting you, mate. I know he's definitely hurting me. Yeah, bit of both. What do you reckon about that gimbal now? Good idea or? Yeah, yeah, you're, yeah. Yeah. you're onto something with that gimbal idea. Yeah, they do help. I was trying to be hard up before telling me I didn't need a gimbal, but it turned out I did. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go awesome, mate. I'll go grab him for you. He put up a good fight. He's, a, he's solid. Well, thanks for you, mate. <laughs> there you go. Hold him up, mate. <laughs> there you go, guys. Long tail tuna. Off the beach. That's the third one for the morning. <laughs> what a day. Here for a couple of hours. It is ridiculous fishing. Never seen anything like it. If you told me you could do this, I wouldn't believe you. But that is a stud fish, look at it. Beautiful. Can't believe it, mate. <laughs> I really can't believe that. Awesome, we'll send him back. Just hold him in the water for me. Like this? Yep. Look at that. What a fish. I'll stop, yeah. I'll go for a swim. Yep. This is full service. <laughs> you can release the fish for us. <laughs> well, that's amazing. Amazing fishing. Third long tail for the morning. <laughs> We're gonna let him go. We got enough. I mean, look at that. Who releases long tails off the beach?
I was just saying that's a committed charter operator there, mate. Thank you very much. No worries, I mate. can't believe that. That's ridiculous. Absolute pleasure. Anytime. Uh, wow. I've never experienced anything like it. Nicer in the water than it is it now, mate. You're committed. Yeah. <laughs> we know the wave came through. I was trying to time that shore break. Yeah. I was like, oh, I've got to make a swim for it now. Yeah. <laughs> now or never. Right, guys, that's us. Thank you for watching that episode. Uh, if I had to describe it, probably one of the best fishing sessions I've ever had. Um, absolutely completely new to me completely unexpected did not think it was possible to get long tail off the beach that consistently we ended up with three really really good fish uh we lost a couple of others every every bait we put out i think got eaten um started the day off with some cracker tailors fishing mitch can't thank you enough mate no worries mate what a pleasure i, I had an absolute ball yeah i thoroughly recommend Get in touch with Mitch. Uh, all the details will be in the uh, description section below this episode. Awesome. Drop him a line. Come and do it, guys. I, I can't stress it enough. Best fun I've ever had on the beach, I think. Yeah, that's it. Enjoy the video, guys. I can't wait to watch it. I know that much. Yeah, yeah me too. Unreal. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next episode. Bye for now. must be one of the constant pressures of being a charter operator is that obligation or like a sense of obligation to get people on the fish here. Oh definitely mate, yeah. You know that's your biggest your biggest battle is you know keeping people happy in their expectations. And yeah. Really you can't beat yourself up if you've had a quiet day you just you know if you put the um the effort in and the hard yards in and do everything you can to your best of the ability there's not much else you can do mate it's you don't ever wait till they like turn around and just kick a rod over. Oh, that was a big hit. There we go. You've had your day now. <laughs> Back we go. <laughs> See you next charter. I haven't had to do it yet, mate. Yeah. You might want to keep your eye on the rod. <laughs> that was the big 30 kilo Jew we were after. <laughs> oh, look, there's nothing worse than the client's got a really good fish on and you know exactly what it is. Yeah. You try not to talk it up and yeah, you lose that fish. It's pretty hard. Yeah, that's got to hurt. Oh, definitely. It hurts more for, more so for me than the fishermen, I think. Yeah.